I am here again uh, to do an assessment uh, for a client of mine. Uh, this uh, project is in Trujoran, Gambia. That's Combo South. Uh, so I'm here to assess uh, what she have on the ground and to give an update of what is possible, what is not possible. Looking forward to the opportunity to be able to expand, extend, uh, and add uh, a kitchen and a, and a dining. At the same time, we have some situation on the ground that need to be looked into. Uh, one of the situation is we have uh, a line house in front of the building. Uh, that line house, we want to know if we're going to be able to keep it the way it is, and if not. At the same time, we have uh, we started uh, the, they started digging the, the septic because we have a septic located in a place uh, that's not the way it's supposed to be located. So uh, the, uh, the man in charge is doing a good job here. Uh, they are trying to relocate this and they are making it. Uh, my brother, uh, what's the size of what you are digging? Four meter is digging a four meter by three meter. Uh, it's two meter. three meters. Three meters. Yeah. All right, three meters. But when it's raining, uh, what do you do? Yeah, when it's raining, maybe we are when the the yeah. the sign we have uh -huh. not much strong. All right. Yeah, maybe right. the rain cannot disturb us here. All right. Maybe if it's raining, uh -huh. you can leave it. Uh -huh. But uh, when the rain stops, you can go ahead with it. Uh -huh. So me, I would suggest maybe you do about two point five meter. Yeah. Now, yeah. but when it comes up, you let it come up more. Yeah. Like, like you make it like about one meter if it's possible, or uh, sorry, about a uh, sixty. Yeah. Up. Yeah. So by the time you do the compound and everything, yeah. you have you still have that on top of everything, but instead of going down because of the weather, yeah. you come up a little bit. I, I would suggest that. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, would, that, that would be really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are doing a very good job because you just started and everything is going very fast. I'm so impressed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, as we have, you see that we have uh, this well here that we are using temporarily. This well is, got, is just temporary because, as I said, uh, the well or the source of water should be very far from the septic. We, are, we have here very close and the owner told me that she's going to move it condemn this and have a borehole uh, because it's supposed to be something not less than 25 meter or 20 meter to where you have the septic. So she's planning to move it over there uh, so that she can have a borehole when she's ready for it. But this one is just for temporary so, uh, because this is not going to be used right away. So that is why she's still, so it's just used for temporary reason. And this is the line house. The line house is, is looking good to me. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's already been built. Uh, she wants to know if you can still keep this line house. You can still keep this line house, but that is, uh, that is a situation with this line house because this line house will have completed. But it could not complete uh, because we have a situation here. And that situation is we used to have, uh, they used to have uh, a, a septic here. You can see that's a septic here that was here. And the guy that was working there wanted to put a wall, this wall, on a septic. <laughs> and uh, you know, everybody, they just have to stop him and let him know that this is wrong. You cannot put a wall. You cannot put a room on a septic. It's very, very wrong. So this septic tank will be condemned, and when it's condemned, filled. When it's filled, then we're going to put a land beam, a, a, a ground beam, uh, to be able to build a wall and a pillar under, and be able to build a wall on top of it and continue uh, this line house. So this is what is going on with this line house here, which is uh, opposite of this one. You can see it. It's going to be so beautiful what is happening. Here we have a temporary uh, bathroom that is here. So we have this bathroom here, but this bathroom also uh, we have to move well, because this line house is coming all the way and then we have to move that also. So I'm um, going into the room uh, to make uh, the general assessment uh, that the owner wanted me uh, to do. So this is the balcony of the house. And then we have this balcony here and this is the uh, living room area. You can see the living room area uh, looking so good. And then uh, I measured it. It's a standard good size, reasonable size. And then you have the first room. Uh, this is the first room on the left. Uh, this is the entrance to the first room. 
this first room is a 3.8 meter by 3.6 meter. This is good standard bedroom. That is a good measurement. And then we have this uh, bathroom right here, uh, which will be shared with this from with this bathroom uh, with this bedroom and this bathroom to share it. This one, uh, you can see uh, the floors are just created. They are not finished up yet. They still need to be finished. Just like the first uh, bedroom, uh, the floor is not finished also. So you need to be uh, put the tiles or hardwood or whatever they plan to put there. That needs to be done. And then you can see uh, this is the bedroom and this is the ceiling too need to be upgraded. All the ceilings in this place need to be upgraded. The size of this bedroom is 3.9 by 3.8 meters which is really really good and then uh, the windows are uh, very uh, genius uh, way they did the windows it is good and then it is still okay uh, manageable uh, for now you can see uh, so that is it you can see the uh, ingenious uh, how smart uh, we are uh, making this for our for our bed it's okay at least to get things moving so this is the living room and then uh, this is small, small space. It can be used for the laundry area. And then we have this master bedroom. This master bedroom is 3.9 by 4 meters. So this is what we have. And the ceiling, as I said, all the ceilings need, need to be upgraded. And the bathroom, uh, this one is done. You can see this. This one is done to make sure you stop the flow of water from coming to this, to the bedroom. So that is how it's done. But all the bathrooms need to be uh, fittings need to be done. Uh, second, um, uh, uh, second stage of plumbing still need to be completed also, uh, which is running the pipe appropriately and then installing the fixtures uh, there. So and the, uh, all the area, the walls, all the walls need to be mastic and the painted. And then those, these are the things we have inside that I can uh, quickly show you. As I said, all the ceilings. Uh, needs to be uh, upgraded and then the floors of this uh, bedroom uh, the two bedrooms need to be upgraded and this uh, this drainage need a cover on top of it it need to be covered and then uh, make sure it's done well and the uh, window uh, the glass is broken so these are the things and you can see the ceiling these are the things that I'm seeing and here you see the door we have this door frame, but this door frame it need a trim on top of it to close to close this gap. This gap need to be closed. You need a trim that goes all along uh, on the on the edges of it. So you don't do this, but you use a wooden trim to trim the edge of the frames. It's very 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 important. So this is what we have here uh, on on this place. Uh, I like the way they open this place up. But the only thing is, uh, smell. You'll be smelling in the living room where you are living in a room. But is the best thing is to close it up uh, because since you already have uh, a window in this place, you can see he's already have his own window, so you can have that privacy and you can don't uh, you don't have to uh, have any smell in that room. So this is it, and this is what we have. Uh, this uh, ceiling, you see, they don't last long. Is uh, they use it temporary? We say need to be done and remove everything as we said and just uh, do the right thing. So that is what we have inside uh, for this uh, assessment for inside. Uh, coming outside, I like the way it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit lifted uh, so that there's no water uh, that will come in. But if you lift it, you got to get a kind of a drainage because if water here, uh, and you have a lot of water sitting here, a lot of water here, if it's too much, it'll be going inside the house. So I will encourage like a small spout, uh, like a small pipe to come out. So when water, when it rains, water sits here, it can easily go out and don't stay in this place. Very, very important. And you have to do the same thing here. Uh, in this place, uh, we have this one. And let me go to this line room. The line room. Uh, they need to fill this one with art core. Need to be filled with art core. I rather don't do it this way. If I'm doing it, I will not put the wall before I put the German floor. I will put the slab first. When I put the flap so that the wall can sit on the on the uh, on the on the floor. Very very important. But it is already done this way. 
So what they're going to do is just to make sure uh, they seal it up and uh, put the hardcore and screen, screen the floor, and then they already have the beams there uh, so that this one uh, can can move forward. So this one, to me, uh, it can be uh, it can continue so far. This uh, this uh, septic uh, is completely uh, broken down and uh, and and then demolished and just uh, do the right thing that I said earlier. I make sure this is done. So going back to the main house, let me show you because the owner wants an extension. He would, she would like to extend uh, the house, and I decided he cannot do it on the other side. I'm going to show you the other side. He, she can do it on this side. She wanted a, a at least a kitchen and a small dining, which we really make sure makes this one the house to be to be a modern place, a modern house uh, for renter. It will be really good because imagine we cannot put it on this side because we have uh, Maho, we have inspection chambers uh, all around the house. You see, this is an inspection chamber. I would recommend this inspection chamber is uh, is make sure that it's fixed well and make sure it's well covered because it's uh, broken. Broken, uh, you see that's broken and that means water will be water will be going inside this inspection chamber and then the the, uh, the septic we fill in time. We'll be filling so fast. You don't want it to fill too fast. You want to make sure it's just just to make sure you just inspect what is going on, but it's not well covered. It's not. It's supposed to be sealed, put the cement, and nothing. So anytime they come here to check it, it's when there is a service. So if they have any blockage in the house, then they can make sure this one is uh, removed and then check the blockage. So you have another one here. This this well done. Uh, it's, it's well. Uh, I mean, it's well placed. Uh, but the thing is. It, they need to be finished up. They need to be finished up because all this water on this side of the house will be going into that place. They are draining into that inspection chamber. So that is one thing. Another thing is if you can look at this house, you can see, uh, if you look, you can see that the, this, there's no slope, really any slope, that where the water can come out. You don't want to keep water on this uh, on this side of the house and leaving the water there. You want to move water from that place outside. The more you put that water there, it'll be sitting at the base of the building. You can see it. You'll be sitting at the base of the wall. You want to make sure the wa all the water has come out of this place. So that means you have to make sure you get your slope from that wall there and bring it, let it slope down out so you can take it outside of this place. Very, very important because water will be sitting at the base of your house. You don't want that. It's not good because the volume of water we have in, in Gambia is a lot of water when it rains. And you can see what is already happening on the walls. You can see what is already happening on the wall. This is an effect of water uh, sitting in this area for too long and on the floor too. You can see. This is the effect of the water sitting too long on all these areas. So when at the long run, this wall will be getting weaker and weaker and before you know it, it may fall. And you don't want that because that is an extra cost. So that needs to be done and that needs to be tailored. So making sure, see, and you see a way they did this, they did this to get the water how, which is a, uh, at least a, a quick solution. You can see the holes uh, that were created. They created this hole at the feet of the, at the feet of the, of the wall just to get the water house because it's too much get having the water to come and sit down in this place. All these things matters. All these things need to be looked into. All these things are very, very important. So going back to uh, the area where she wanted uh, the uh, where she wanted the kitchen, uh, this area that she wanted the kitchen, I've done the measurement. Uh, she, she have enough space whereby we're going to extend from this wall uh, from this wall, external wall, and take it to where we have uh, the wall. The wall stops. I'm bringing it out to this place, uh, bringing it about two point uh, two point uh, five meters out there, so they can have an extension on this side, which will be really good. And then it's, it's not going to infringe on anything. So I will talk to her about that to know that, to let her know that it is possible and it is uh, approachable and it can be done. This is a good project, and this is, job is going good. Uh, the contractor is doing a fantastic job. I am encouraged with uh, what he's doing. I like everything, and I like that the blocks for this are, are ready. They are ready to be used. You can see that they have to make 
extra blocks for this uh, suck away and septic because it's suck away stroke septic that is they are doing and everything is in place so thank you family thank you thank you thank you continue to follow uh give me a call let me come out to do assessment uh for your properties so because so you because you need to know what is going on here with your property you need to know what is going on here with your stuff you need to know how your things are done how your money has been managed how your properties have been taken care of it's very very important at the end of the day this building uh when it's modernized we're going to change everything, making sure you're giving it a befitting, a befitting beauty that it deserves. Or give me a call, 264-5186. Uh, if you're calling from outside, you can give it plus 220-264-5186. Blessings. Bye.